Oh, it's a toy. Oh, seven o'clock, yes, yeah. It is. No, it's not. Seven o'clock. I've got my watch. Six fifty-eight. Okay, well, we'll wait for your watch. Is it an hour slow or? <laughs> yeah. My, my, my watch is up past five. Mine's auto set by the computers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Just started. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's coming committee eighth of September. Um. We have apologies that only from Barbara Young. Uh, which is strange because she's called in one of the planning applications. Um, any declarations of interest? No. 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 Uh, the minutes of the last meeting, is anybody going to propose those or object to them? Or I propose them. Yeah, Trisha's. Oh, no, I can't propose them now, but I wasn't here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Either Councillor Alban, Hetherington, make Yes, I will yes. propose those. Yes. <laughs> I will second them. Okay. Um, vote on Now, we're moving on to the. Need to vote on it. Oh, sorry, can we vote on it? I always forget this. In favour? Yes. Fine. Okay. In favour? That's it. I can't who was here. Oh, okay. So, Jenny and the Landscape Neighbourhood Plan. Please. Thank you. Um, oh, Jenny. I know a lot of you are familiar with this. Uh, I've been to several meetings in the past, and some of you are also involved in the working group. Um, you should have had a briefing paper. What you didn't get, and I really apologise, having referred to it in the briefing paper, was the proposal for consultancy support. Um, I've sent it to my name, it will be distributed tomorrow. I know, again, some of you have seen it, some of you, a lot of you won't have seen it. Um, this has been going on, the neighbourhood plan process has been going on for a long time, uh, but we look as though we are. Within sight of finishing it, I think. Oh, um, we now know that the conservation area appraisal, which is a big part of the documentation, has been drafted as we've done at District Council. If anybody's seen it, not seen it, it's a massive document that's been prepared with funding from Historic England. Um, that includes a design code. We already have our own design code drafted, so we will need to merge the two. Um, but this year, we asked for technical support from locality, and that comes free of charge. We had assistance from two people, one of them a staff member of locality who will continue to be available to us. But his area of activity is community, um, community engagement. He's provided a local insight report. I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. But again, it's a fairly weighty document that's a compilation of statistics about Ramsgate. Um, I can send that through tomorrow and you might find it, it useful. Uh, the second person is a consultant who has written something like a hundred neighbourhood plans or his consultancy has. But even more importantly, he's the person that drafted the guide that we've been trying to follow all this time. Locality paid for a limited amount of help from him, and being realistic about it, there is no way that those of us who are continuing to work on the plan can actually do it all on our own. We've all got other activities. So, um, Dave Chetland, who is based in Liverpool, has given us a proposal for planning support. It's a basic package, but then there is the option of purchasing additional support. As and when we identify that we need it, uh, that's the document that we did not send. Ramsgate Town Council has set aside £20,000 of its budget for neighbourhood planning this year. We shouldn't, at the moment, need to use any of that funding. I have sent off an application to locality for grant funding for £10,000. We are actually, as a large area, eligible, um, given the degree of deprivation, eligible for total grants of 18,000. 
but we can only apply for 10,000 in the first instance. Um, we could also apply for more technical support should we need it for specialist reports. So that's a brief overview. Has anybody got any questions, any points that they would like to raise? What's the time scale for, for the grants and the, and the people and so on and so forth? The grant application um, takes at least 15 days to assess. I sent it last Friday, so two, three weeks time. Yeah. Should hear. And it, it's a horrible, horrible application to fill in. So I'm hoping I've got it right. It doesn't come back. Um, I don't know how quickly the money will be paid, but I'm hoping that Dave will be able to start work fairly soon once we get the funding confirmed. Though he's in Liverpool, I've persuaded him that, to come down for a day to actually meet us in, in person. We've had a Zoom meeting with him, he's very easy to get on, very easy to get on with. Really gentle. I think he'll be very good support. But as for when this should be finished, we were hoping you've got it in your pack um, the notes on plan preparation. And that has a time You've received it electronically, we haven't printed it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, sorry, I don't know where it's gone. Um, I'll print it over for a minute, here we are. This, this was looking um, at holding the referendum in July next year. How realistic that is, I don't know. Most people don't know. We need to spend this grant by 31st of March. Okay. So we're going to have to do a considerable amount of work in that period, six month period. It ought to be. Do you think you will need additional specialist support? I mean, and where do you think you might need it? I'm not sure that we will, because we're not looking to designate sites for development. It's one of the things about Ramsgate. In other areas, there are large tracts of brownfield or greenfield that could be developed for housing. The background of this is always about the government's drive to get more housing. Um, Thanet District Council has just had, I think, a second call for sites, so anything that was going to be a reasonable size would have been mocked up. All that is likely to come forward from Ramsgate now is windfall sites, so that doesn't concern us. Um, we've also got a very large conservation area which provides a degree of protection in the event that the government increases its new zoning system. Um, we're not really planning anything with the, the Ramsar or SSSA site, so we shouldn't need additional reports on that. The big thing is, I, I guess the, the real value of this is that we've spent a long time thinking about Ramsgate, thinking about how it works, where interventions might be effective over and above anything set out in the local plan. So you will have, you've got, amongst the papers that have been sent out, a draft copy with notes on that sets out the, the different plan policy areas. I don't think any of them are particularly contentious. Um, this is a document which could be useful to, to Ramsgate Town Council. It's based on the commonplace survey that we did various other drop-in sessions uh, and of course more recently there's been the big Ramsgate Futures Consultation but all of those it's actually very hard to get people to think in depth about the area in which they live it's also very difficult I found to get councillors to think about the areas in which they, live, which they represent because I did ask everybody at the beginning of the year and I got some answers but not a lot so you know, here's a paper which at the very least will help to underpin some of your discussions in the future. I think, I think the new town clerk yeah. should have an input into yes. this. Yes. And if she starts, we, we better meet her. Yeah. Uh, yes, Becky. Is it, I, I know that with the last election there was 
Broadstairs did go to referendum at the KCC election. So is, is there any is there any mileage in having a joint conversation with no. Broadstairs? No. Their, their plan is very different. I think what they did it was get something in to write it. Um, and of course they had to they're redoing it, they're reconsidering it. So there are clearly flaws with what they put in. We are going to somebody that wrote the guidance. If he doesn't know what should go into it, then also is it is, is there a re specific reason about not including the Ramsar site and the SSSI, which I personally think is really important for us? We, we acknowledge their existence, but I, there isn't anything in the way of um, housing development really that's going to affect us. Yeah. Basically. But there could be, for those two sites, there could be developments in and around that include housing that might include industrialisation that could impact on this. I think it looks a bit something like that. We need to look as we go along, yeah. don't we, as yeah. well, at, at how things are developing. Yeah, yeah. Basically, a lot will depend on whether the levelling up fund bid is approved and what actually that ends up being. Yes. Yeah, I think any importance we can give to the Ramsar site and the SSI site could be, uh, uh, with, the, with the view that TDC are trying to scope out the environmental impact assessment. So there's, there's never ever been well, an environmental impact assessment on any of that area. Uh, well, no, there has been to an extent because of the Manston DCL application. A member of our group who's had to drop out for the time being um, was involved in drafting the environmental statement. So he knows that. He knows what he's doing. He works for a big consultancy. So, we see. but if you if you look at that whole site, you need to look at this this cumulative impact. Yeah. So that's what I've looked at at the port, which tries to bring in the possible yeah. effect of Manston as well as the, any 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 future developments at the port, uh, which are looking a bit suspicious. It's sort of very up in the air, isn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. they, the none of and and the very fact that TDC are trying to scope out an environmental impact assessment. For a like like for like replacement does concern me that we could end up with developments around that area that that further impact on on there. We haven't got everything cut and dried at the moment. There will be other things that develop during the next six months, I'm sure, and that could be wrong. But I'll make a note. Okay, thank you. We'll look at it. Any more? Okay, thank you, Jenny. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay, can we move on to the planning applications, please? I think there's only three, aren't there, doing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That Dean knows what we need. Hold up. Um, <clears throat> the first one was called by Councillor Young without any um, reason, so we don't really know why it was called in. And this is the phase two of the land east and west of Hayne Road. <coughs> Excuse me for the erection of seven, eight, 785 dwellings. Um, this is looking at the layout, scale, appearance, and landscaping. Um, I don't know if you want to look at it or not. Well, this, we, I suppose we could have a brief look. I mean, I tried to look at it this afternoon, but I think you'd need three weeks, some a degree, and something or another. This is Green, is that what this one? Hayne Road. The the developers. Oh right. Green. I just yeah. That's no. yeah. Does anyone know anything about it? I, it? It's a bit confusing. I was, I was on. We were on TDC planning with Emily, weren't we? Yeah. But it, there was only part of it. Stage one. There's three phases. Well, this is um, an application for matters that weren't discussed before. Well, these are reserve matters. I mean, this, matters. The, yeah. this, this is obviously planning consent. The outline consent granted for the development with how many? blah 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 and now this is giving you the detail of what was approved so effectively this this is what the houses look like how many there are road layouts all that kind of issues drainage and stuff so like that reserved matters steve means things that weren't discussed in the outline but yes have been reserved for a later date to be discussed yes. is that the well effectively yeah i mean really what you what you've got if you, you've got <laughs> You've got planning consent being granted um, at an outline stage. So in principle. The principle of it is established. Yeah. 
So now you've got the bulk of what's going on the site, effectively. So it's not us saying we don't want 790. No, no, no. no. Five houses, because that's been approved. It's, it's been approved. Layout. It's about what it looks like, how it affects, okay. and stuff like that. But obviously, as part of the outline consent, things like road networks and that, that would have been dealt with by KCC yeah. at that point. So effectively, it's the housing. And the layout stable houses. And itself, yeah. Are they all there on the 2DC? Gave no no objection and no um, no comment previously. So I think it, it, without Councillor Young being here, it's quite difficult to know what she wanted to discuss. Yes, and it sort of came up at TDC as a as a side issue to the the farm the farm development there, which can't go ahead until phases one, two, and three, and the relief road are in, which I do find quite ridiculous as to why we're not putting a relief road in first. But outline permission has been given, so this is just the detail, so there's not really an awful lot we can do to stop it, if we wanted to stop it. And presumably they pay all the things that they've got to pay for social services, education, health. Well, they would look at those on the, on the planning con conditions it, relating to affordable housing. There will be, there will be a Section 106 agreement. And hopefully... They've got 30%. Yeah, and the only time it will come, it will come back to TDC, but effectively, is if, for instance, if this, they are going to put 30% full wares and they come back with the, the other ones, they don't want to do it. They don't want that to would do need it. to come back to us, as did the other one. There is, there, how many house, how many affordable housing is there? Is there 92? I think, yeah, I think it was 92. So 92. Ones, sorry, um, make a little more interesting for housing. Yeah. Okay, so, so hopefully that was. I, I mean, I would propose to you no comment. Yes, I would second that. I'm not sure what else. No, you can say at this stage. Yeah. Yeah. And then, no. you'd say no. You'd say no. Yeah. You won't say no. Can we have a vote on no comment, please? Yeah, okay. That's everybody that's here. Thank that you. I wouldn't vote for it. I think we're too late now. It, it, no, it's, it, it might be, but I've got to protest because okay. it, it seems like bullying. You want us to build around you, but we're not going to do it because we want you out of there. No, that, that was the TDC debate, not this one. Yeah. Pardon? That was the TDC debate. Yeah, but it's the same area, isn't it? Yeah. What, what happened is that the, 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 the farm development on that, that is the, the green land that's on that site, if you go back, has got a very good application in that is for a number of, it's the old, the old, the old wrestlers building, Steve, you know, yeah. I'm sure you wrestled with me on occasion, but it's that old, building, it's that old land on the, which is full of rubbish and derelict. Yeah. He cannot build, and he's, it's quite a good application because it's got quite a lot of ecology in there, so yeah. a lot of the trees. He cannot build until phase one is done, phase two, which is the green field, and, and phase three, which goes around the end, and the relief road is put in, basically. Jackie Pello. Jackie Pello, yeah. Yes. And that is, and it, uh, uh, Pat's totally right. I voted in favour of. Uh, refusing permission because there's a safety issue because there's no footpath until until yeah. that relief road is in so we don't want yeah. anybody killed from from that Jackie Pello site but I also felt conflicted because there's an element of I think of bullying by these and I don't even think the developer's been sought yet uh, there's been no development there's no developer in place for this development at present so there wasn't they've when that meeting put the spade in within about another two weeks mm -hmm. or something like yeah. They've got to start digging in, in, in quite a short time frame, yeah. but as we know from the Federal Armour site, they could put the footings in and walk away. <laughs> so it didn't sit pretty with me either, Pat, but I don't I didn't think we had any option. Yeah, I voted against it. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, what's the next one? Okay, the next one is um, 20 to 24 Harbour Street. Again, it's been called in by the past long and we don't know why. Um, it's in the conservation area. It's a change of apartment to, to uh, a three-bedroom house. Um, so um, Dean can go through the actual application and, and point out what they're doing. So this is by number 26 in Harbour, Harbour Street. I, it, 
having looked at the, without knowing what Councillor Young was, was wanting, having looked at the, the drawings, this, the access is really, yeah, um, the access is really tight. I don't quite know what the, I, I think it actually says in the planning notes that there is no intention to provide parking, it's a town centre dwelling. Um, Sorry. So it's a foot access only. Right. Um, yeah, that shouldn't matter, should it? I'm just saying, I'm just wondering if that's where Councillor Young was coming from. I, no, I don't know. No point in guessing. No, I'm just saying that's it's, um, an existing observation I've made. Um, I assume it's going to be holiday. It is. Holiday loads. Yes. And um, <laughs> the original. I think we finished here. Yeah. Um, I thought you were doing your Usain impression. I don't know whether maybe us in the neighbourhood plan be. should be considering limiting the number of Air Airbnbs and holiday flats. That's another argument. Well, well, it's quite an argument before that. Yeah. Yeah. Chair, yeah, all I can say is you've got to deal with what you've got. You've got an application for a single dwelling. Yes. So I cannot see a problem at all about converting a building that's not in use into a single, into a single dwelling. We need housing, we need whatever it may be. There's no law once it's been once it's been part of someone wants to do an Airbnb, there's no law against that. Isn't it four flats? What's not four flats? Isn't it four flats? It says single dwelling, doesn't it? It says three. Three, one, three. Oh, Arena, one bedroom, self-contained holiday unit. Yeah, three. Sorry. I beg your pardon, Chair. Yeah. I beg your pardon. I don't know why I did. I see single dwelling. The, sorry, the previous application was for a conversion um, of detached barn to cre create three one-bedroom, self-contained holiday units. We're now looking at um, change of use of barn oh, to so one a three bedroom house, three bedroom house. so it's one single, now. single dwelling. So, therefore, yeah. I cannot see there's no planning reasons whatsoever yeah. why you yeah. would refuse that. Yeah. 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 That so is actually a better enough. application than the original one. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. No, but Steve says I don't think we can complain about that. Okay, would you like to propose it? I propose that we, I'll second it. That, uh, we make no comment, Chair. Yeah. Yeah, I'll sit back. Yeah. yeah. Vote. Great. Yeah. Okay, Everybody. Thank you. Okay, the next one is um, the Ramsgate Arts Arch, East Cross Wall. Hate it, sink it. <laughs> Get it with a torpedo. <laughs> Permanent mooring of Ramsgate Arts Barge for mixed use as artist studio, cafe bar, exhibition and community centre together with installation and access works. What they want to do um, basically is uh, paint it, as you can see, it's currently black and they want to paint it um, um, black and white. Okay. And also for the access, is that the top access thing? Yeah, I'll show the access. So the axis is like where the half boat owners go, but it's just yeah. the side in front of the, uh, the fish. Um, Cannon fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you mean they're going to go in where the half boat so owners go, or the separate? No, so it's separate, so separate. you can see it there. Yeah. It's just in front of the well, My first point is they need a fire escape at the other end for those sake. Is one thing. Well, you can do it in the arm. Uh, secondly, I understood that it will be gone by the time the harbour celebrations came along. That's what we were told. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, I have a number. I'm mean, sort of conflicted because if they had, if they could present me with a bank balance of two million pound and have some decent plans, I'd be right behind it. But I'm really worried we're going to end up with a, yeah. a long term. Boat, I won't say wreck that because of, uh, by all accounts it is a beautiful boat. Those people that know about Dutch barges, it is a beautiful boat and it's quite solid. But the first question I'm going to ask is where is the George the Fourth pontoon that was originally there? It's gone. It's been removed. It was removed. Laura Sands opened it up. It was a historic pontoon and it was taken away by TDC and not replaced. So that's the first thing that should be replaced. I'm also with you on this skate on the skate route, but there needs to be two axes, accesses on and off that boat. If a fire develops part way down and you're at this end, you've got nowhere getting off. 
I also have real concerns about water safety and a vessel that takes visitors. There doesn't seem to be much in the plans about creating some safety aspects on a vessel. A water can be very dangerous even if it's even if it's a few centimetres deep. Also, the hull is totally and utterly painted zebra colours out of keeping with the Grade 1 listed Royal Harbour. Mm -hmm. no, I totally agree. Um, yeah. And then, look, Helen, I was looking at that, but <laughs> looking at it, where it shows you, where it's moored, yes. where it's to be moored, that was a, a historical ship mooring. Yes, that. They came in there free. So why is it now? I understand they are paying for building. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it yeah. might be, but it, it, it was designated yeah. uh, historical. Yeah. We used to have the Grand Turk come, the one that right. was on Hornblower. Right. That used to come it's quite more. often. It would be nice to have that space for more interest. Well, that's, that's the pontoon. The historical pontoon was there it's for those boats. Historical thing that they did to start with. Right. But that, I think, came from the Harbour Office. Helen. Yeah, uh, I'm going to say this pretty much the same thing that I say every time this comes up. I absolutely love the idea. I just can't see any evidence of the money that is going to turn this from a rusty barge into the idea. They've just paid a lot of money for all this. I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking at the architects. Mm -hmm. They're not yeah. six chairs. Yeah. But within this application, this application is for a permanent mooring. It's not actually for a whole load of other stuff. It's that, this is about the mooring um, and the access to the mooring. And that's the bit that we're, we're looking at. Yeah. But if it's going to be a permanent mooring of a rusty barge, is that what we want? Because I, I'm not convinced that this is going to convert into the vision. Because even within this application, there is no further evidence mm behind it for how they're going to do the next stages. So I can't support it I'm with you on, that. on that basis. <coughs> Thank you, Chair. Um, the issue about money is neither here nor there. It's not, it's not part of the application. So whether they've got the money or not is not a thing for, that you can consider. And also whether there was a pontoon there before, there isn't one now. So again, you can't consider that. I do agree with Councillor Wing in relation to the egress and access, or access in whatever way around it is, that there should be, that there should be too. I'm concerned about that as well, the safety of anybody going on there. Um, I, I certainly don't like the uh, design, uh, the painting of the, the hull. Um, you know, I'd be like everybody else if it was if they've got no money and it is going to happen, then great. But at the end of the day, I think we have to take the issue that Councillor Wing has raised about it being a listed harbour. And that does not fit in with the, the listed harbour. So for me, I could not vote for this application. Thank you, Chair. Right. Do we, do, sorry. Can I just pick up on what Councillor Moore said about that this was a space that used to be used for visiting vessels? If we historical vessels, historical vessels of, of interest, etc., and of, in keeping presumably again with the, with our listed harbour, if we allow a permanent mooring in this space, I mean, I know it's not up to us, but I mean, if we approve and support the idea of a permanent mooring in this space, is that of itself going to prevent those visits in the future, or are we not expecting that we'll have those visits anyway? Now we no longer have the Pontoon that we had before. We don't have the option, do we? I was going to say, I mean, I don't, I don't know enough about the situation to understand. Yeah, if I could just yeah. say on, on that, I can't remember the last time we had any of the tall ships in that would. That would, no, that no, would no. P22 is the last yeah, one we had there, isn't it? Longer than I have. <laughs> but what, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, Pat, the last time that they were there in that location. Um, because they can come in and they can go to other parts of the There are other places, there are other places for them to come in because when we had a load of them in, yeah. they were all throughout the harbour. It doesn't prevent us from having, doesn't prevent us from having historical no. vessels. I think that's a separate thing. I think if, if, if Becky has got an issue about that, then she should raise that with 
GDC and then say, are we going to have the pontoon back for the... Yeah, soon. Yes, that's a separate, I can bring that up. But I think that's, that's, that's a separate issue from this application, Chair. Okay. Well, I propose that we object to it. Does anyone second that? Please have reasons, please. I, I've got to um, the reason. It's not in keeping. It's not in keeping. Think people said it's aesthetically. It's not. It's aesthetically not in keeping. And we're concerned about safety. But I suggest, Chair, that it is it is detrimental yeah, to the to the heritage of Ramsgate Harbour and its Grade Two or Grade One listed status, and that as currently proposed. Yeah. And and that um, also we have serious concerns in relation as health and safety. Becky says health and safety in yeah. relation to the use of the water safety. Yeah, it's surrounded by body that can be that a few people have felt fallen into and drowned and died in recent years. Um, I'll second that. Anybody to vote on that? I do think it's a shame because this barge comes up so many times and I mean there is potential here. There is potential yeah. and I just and I know you've been on it which yeah. I know it's just a lovely but well, maybe you had as presently proposed like Tisha said so I mean I'm with you if, if they had the money yeah, and they had the money but to see it develop then I, I, I would like to see it develop but I agree that aesthetically that is not in keeping. Aesthetically it's not appropriate. So, it's not like if they have the money, because that's the chicken and egg thing. So if they got the mooring and if they had the plans and if people could see, then they can start going for funding for it and so on and so forth. So I do think that's a bit of a red herring, because that's how you uh, obtain it's the money. It's a bit circular, isn't exactly. it? Really? I mean, I'm, I'm for this in lots of ways. And yeah, of course, health and safety-wise, then that's a no instantly, you know, whether I want an arts card or anything. And aesthetically, too, absolutely, it doesn't, it's not in keeping. Um, if it had stopped other historical vessels coming in, then again, I'd have been against it for that. But if we still have the option of historical vessels coming in, then I'm very pleased about that. But but on but just on those two things, then I'd have to say no, even though in principle I quite like the idea. In principle, yeah. yes, it is. Yes. Yep. Is there a way we can say that? So they not go somewhere else? Is it not somewhere else? Sound clock. Is it, can we say? Although we have concerns about this, isn't it? You know, in principle, we think it's a great idea, kind of yeah. thing. Can we can we say something like that, or is that? Well, you're, you're kind of doing that anyway. Sure, I, I just I, I don't think you need to say anything further on that. I think you know, obviously, we'll see how the application develops at Planet District Council, and then we'll, we'll we'll see how that goes. Right? Can we have a vote? Are we supporting Keith Steve's? Yes. yes. Keith, <laughs> <laughs> Fred. Well, Keith, if you like, mate, if that's what, that's what you want, you know. <laughs> okay, so yeah. we've carried that. Keith. Yeah, Keith. Keith. Keith is my husband, you should be... <laughs> <laughs> Pat, I have to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is okay. Bigger pet stop. Okay. The uh, next thing is um, Deputy Town Clerk's report, which is um, the letter that you've got. Yes. Um, there's the first draft, and then I'll, after that, attached to that, Councillor Green came through with a second draft. Oh, did he? <laughs> oh, and well, I've got a patch. I didn't I've got a third. Commented. I mean, there are. Oh. I've already had two objections to it. One from. Um, Councillor Wing and one from Councillor Crittenden who thought the language was too flowery. I agreed with Councillor Crittenden that it was too long. I haven't had a chance yes. to redraft it, but I, I much okay. have to say I think Councillor Wing's um, redraft is is promising. Yes, I agree. Good. Well, that I I have also done a redraft of it. Good. We didn't send it in. I just I bought it tonight, so. Uh, and it's obviously like everything else open to amendment. Could I just make a suggestion as well, Chair? Yeah. If I may. Um, I, I think as well, under when we put in two resident shopkeepers, business owners, I think to get them up, I do think we need big bold letters. We need your help. And I think RTC needs the help of the president. No, that was my biggest concern about both letters was the fact that. What is that? Like, if I was a business owner, I was reading this. I'm like, get to the point. Why are you, why are you telling me this almost? Mm. And um, we need your help. Would have said it a lot better. Because yes. I'm reading through, thinking, yeah, and and you know, you have to do something. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. I've been told off, or maybe you know what? Until yeah. I got to the end, really. Yeah. And so, if you said we need your help, 
we know you, we know you're trying. We we we're trying to, or however we phrase it, but something a little bit more of a correct. Uh, you know, and that and that's and that style of like you know. I mean, we are trying very hard not to upset. I know, <laughs> and, and let's face it, you will whether you like it or not. But I definitely agree with that. That's, that is I know, but I think that's the matter. very good. Mm. But, and and I. Thank you. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Oh. I'm just saying, what does Rochelle think? Oh, I think it's fine. You know, I'm, you know, this is similar because you picked it up from my uh, yeah. letter that I normally send, been sending out over the last three years. Uh, I do it quarterly. And uh, there were some comments on Facebook that, you know, oh, I received this letter from the mayor and she wants our shop front to be clean and tidy. Why do we pay our tax? And well, that's what that one's going to come and do it for you, are they? <laughs> and uh, these are the few, few comments, uh, you know, the, there were a few of them anyway, but the, not many, but everybody else, I think they appreciated it. And they, I, I think people are trying hard to do it, uh, you know. They are. Yeah. They be, most of them are. But there's a lot, there's a lot of demand. But again, there's a lot of more generic type businesses that possibly won't. That's the trouble. Yeah. So, for example, like, is Poundland going to dedicate their staff and turn around and say, right, you two need to go and do the shop front this morning? Whereas if you ask Roshan or Susie or somebody smaller, maybe yes, they possibly would. I'm not saying all independents would. I'm just saying certain people might. And so it's hitting, you know, those others like um, Boots or whomever to make sure that their area is as tidy as the other people that are trying. That's the hardest part. Yeah, the banks as well. Exactly that, yeah. exactly that. And so and so it almost in some way needs needs two letters because you're dealing with those people that are independent, trying really hard, and you always want to write a letter to the higher up the hierarchy of, of whatever business it is and say, you know, your Ramsgate shop front needs sorting out, quite frankly. And that almost like needs to come from RTC to say you know, you have responsibility to the town centre for well, a shop in our town, almost. Most most shops do need a bit of sorting out. I, I mean, the thresholds get me. They're really grubby and horrible. Yeah. It, for all the shops, nearly. All. Yeah. I'm, I don't, um, I don't the weeds don't get me, though. Um, I don't say this with Becky in the room. They've been, they're doing all the weeds by the end of October. Do you know that? The weed killers going around like billy just Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. It's very yeah. I was just going to, I was going to pick up on what Anne Marie was saying because I think she's right about the different sorts yeah. of business. business. Maybe, yeah. maybe we need yeah. two different letters. Yes. But I think in both of them, what we need to do, whether we're lying through our teeth or not, is say we recognise that most businesses take a great pride yeah. in it, etc. Et yeah. even though we know that we're talking to KFC and people who don't give a toss. Yeah, but no, they, have, yeah they, they are doing it They now. have done better. better. Oh, sorry, no, KFC. no, they have done a lot better recently. They are, they, three less. they are cleaning it every day now. But, some, yeah. but we're talking Men. to a lot of businesses that don't care. Yes. And, and a lot of businesses that do. Yes. And we need, I think, that, that it does need to be a distinction, but in both cases we need to bull up what they do well and how great they are and whatever. We do not need to pull up volunteers and what volunteers do. We can mention it in passing, but actually it looks like a kick in the teeth to the businesses to say we're well, it, Except last time we discussed that, it, it came about, I can't remember exactly how, that we should say what we are doing to support. Oh, I think what Ramsgate Town Council is doing, but not... Yeah, but the volunteers are sort of... Volunteers, and through groups such as, it, it's not... That's, I don't think that's appropriate. Yeah, I, I, just, to, just to say, you know, for most of us here have, have been on the con, on the continent and been to various places, you know, I've worked there and stuff, you know, and even back in the 70s when I was working in, in Europe, you know, most of the, most of the shopkeepers, most of the, most of the houses actually clean their front, yeah. uh, washed them down and done everything like that. Um, because they have bylaws in place. Yes. Yes. This is the thing that we yes. don't have. We don't have any bylaws yes. here, which 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 bring us into the twenty first century, where um, where they, it can actually be, if you like, uh, gently enforced yes. to say you're not complying with the bylaws stuff like. I'm I'm so I'm right from the outset. I was a bit concerned about this whether we should whether we should actually do this as a town council without. Because what if people don't? You know, we're just asking them. 
put but them to get yeah. lovely certificates put in their windows. Yeah, but they're, they're worthless, aren't they? They don't give them monkeys, do they? You know. But I don't see how the banks and boots and other shop, uh, the big, you know, department store like Peacocks, how they will do it because they don't have a cleaners. That's what I'm saying. You know, yeah. they will come out and do their, uh, you know, front of their shops because they do their inside, but they never come out and do it. Well, they need to come out. But I think that's that's where the kick in the pants yeah. has felt. I think I don't think that, exactly. The letters need to go higher up than, yeah. than just those. It's, yeah, it's not necessarily the I mean, individual businesses like us, we do our own, you know, we do it every morning, every evening. Yeah. Oh, hello. 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 <laughs> She's twinkling. Sorry, it was, it was all going back to what I, I just She's wanted twinkling. to, I just wanted to say, do you mind if I read my version yes. of, of yeah. this? Yeah, this yeah, yeah. Fit in and, and I don't know whether we're ever going to agree on this. Well, um, the, the two key points is I think uh, the, the wording needs to be stronger, it needs to be more dynamic and so the words take us forward and I think the end, it needs to end with a call to action uh, which ties in with something that's been said. But what I've written, and it's obviously open to yet more amendment, is we have a fantastic town with so much up to offer locals and visitors alike. We have an amazing group of volunteers and community organisations putting on a diverse range of events and activities every year. Here at Ramsgate Town Council we are working proactively with Thanet District Council to bring new resources to our town and we have lots to be excited about. What else can we do? Well, one suggestion is a civic pride scheme to demonstrate to visitors the pride we have in our town. Shops and businesses and residents committed to keeping our town clean and attractive will have the opportunity to display civic pride posters in their windows in exchange for a commitment to keep the area around their premises litter and weed free. What we want to know now is, is this something you would support and be proud to take part in? Let us know, get in touch. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. So, thank you. <laughs> By the way, in in the window of the York Street Gallery, they've got some <coughs> from the Ramsgate Society mm. congratulating them on some sort of, I can't remember what it says. It might be that we could, but I, I, was, so I, I kind of, doing this, I would get principle is, society involved. here's a bit of background, much, much shorter than any of the others. Yes. Right. This is the idea of that Civic Pride Scheme. Call to action. I so still want. We need your help on it. We well, is. We want. Yeah. We no, put that at the top. If you like. Top. Yeah. 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 We put that at the top. Or well, we need your yeah. views. I mean, all I've all I've done is I've scribbled this on the back of it. Yeah. So it's oh, much more connected. The view is no good. Well, that's why I'm speaking up. No, talk about it. Hello. Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. All I was going to say is that we could put civic pride at the top. We need your help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Becky. I. I the, it always feels like, I mean, I, I do prefer this because it, we're all in yeah. it together, so it's, it's, yeah. it's not it's your responsibility or my responsibility or Uncle Tom up the road's responsibility, but the previous letter always felt like putting a whole class in detention because half of the class are being naughty, something I've never agreed okay. with or never done. <laughs> Uh, so I could, I, yeah, I could, I could go with this. Is there anything else we can do as Ramsgate Town Council to maybe jet spray some of the roads. Well, that was the other thing I was going to say. So there's a, there's a very period of time at the moment. There's a period of time where maybe we, we, we nominate a month, I don't know, it could be the month of November um, or December, where we're going to try and do as much cleaning together as we possibly can or getting planters out. Well, September would be good. It's a bit late because it's oh, still quite yeah. warm. The roads are very sticky. Um, November, it should be raining like hell. <laughs> No, October. It's a bit like the spring clean because we know lots of people come on board with a month long spring clean. So if we. Yeah. De 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 I know, and um, we have got a cleaning machine, haven't we? We have. Spray. We have very, uh, forget, very strict. Uh, uh, forget that the Welcome Back Fund. Your technicians are hugely stretched. Yeah, we need to know that the road yeah. technicians at the moment yes. are working interested. weekends as well as. Um, Monday to Friday. What are they doing? We can't expect them to do anything. That's the volunteers could come in and help do um, and we did. Yeah. Trisha. Just to throw in, there is a proposal going round um, for there to be a week, at the, the first full week of October, the week beginning the 4th of October, to be a fanit wide kind of clean up and planting and whatever week. It's come from the Kingsgate, uh, Barry Manors and the Kingsgate, Clean Botany Bay, etc. And they want to see stuff happening Around and the Ramsgate Society are going to do their chine to chine clean up at the end of that week. Okay. We tomorrow. should get the Ramsgate. So it might be that we can get some other things going during that week. 
yes. well below the technicians, but to yes. get some volunteers yes. out doing stuff, and indeed some businesses yeah. out doing stuff, yeah. perhaps. Sounds good. But bags I not volunteered, not to uh, try and organise any events, because <laughs> yeah. I've done mine. At mine. <laughs> and because the other thing, sorry, I can choose Steve, was to have a bit of a clamp down on parking, especially for a at five o'clock, well, four o'clock probably onwards, <coughs> once the gate is in. Yes. They're all going to come in the other ways. And they're all going to be set up. Um, and this is, sorry, I'm slightly diverging here. At another meeting, and um, we need to wait for Laura to start, we've got to talk about the Highways Action Plan, yeah. which Richard started but it never got any further than a one-way street in Effingham Street. And which needs to tie in with the neighbourhood plan. And what? Which needs to tie in with the neighbourhood plan, as we said the other day. Yeah. Mm. No, no, so we need we need to get that done, and that's where we're going to get the bollard for the end of Turner Street, hopefully. And some cycle routes. And some cycle routes, yeah. We need to close up as hilly places. And, and this that I sent to KCC, about drains and bits um, has been all logged and they have been out. Yeah, they, 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 they have actually done. <laughs> I think that one. Yes. Oh. Yeah, they have restrained. Not the main bit. Was no, no, the yeah, yeah. The where it was sort of sinking. Yeah. You know, that part, all we, I think we all reported so it. So. respond and say it's wonderful they've done that, but can they? they, they there are more works. And they have logged all the drains that I've been told about. Yes. May I point out something because it's in your ward? Um, yeah. The, the bollards at the end of my street, which are, yeah. are knocked down and are reported on their system, has been replaced already within oh, a week. Fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. Well, uh, you can, there is a system for reporting it all. But with, and if you get a number and nothing happens, I will deal with Paul Valick because he said he will deal with any numbers that haven't happened. Chair, can I come in now? Thank you. As a token male here, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Lucky. Oh. Lucky. <laughs> no, 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 Dean's not part of the count. He's not. No, no. Dean's a man of his own right. I'm, I'm part of the group, you know, so let's, let's get right. Um, can we move on, Chair? Can we actually, uh, can we actually agree, are we going to use Councillor Crittenden's words? Can we agree that? Are we going to do that? Yes. yes. I'd rather just, sorry, because I've listened to it, I'd rather like to see it in writing and sent out. Exactly. So I agree that that's okay, because I'd rather take things in better that yes. way. Yes. I do agree. I, I did, that's I did okay. say that, obviously, yeah. it sounded very good, Helen, but... Yeah. Yeah. Did you write it with Steve's headline? Well, I've made like headline with Civic yeah. Pride. And so send it to everybody. Yeah, how are you going it's, it's right, type it out? And send well, I'll it. do it. I'll type it out. Oh, there you are. There we are. Thank you, Eileen. Oh. Well done, Eileen. Thank you. I to do it. Oh, I can read your writing. As well. <laughs> <laughs> hey! And that was scribbled. That was that Eileen was Richmond, like, deep one. If you, if you have any problems, I'll. <laughs> Here. Thing. Can no, I brilliant. ask? TDC. Who's in charge of parking at TDC? Charge of parking. Yeah. Uh, that Glazer. would be uh, yes. Glazer. Glazer. Yeah, Rebecca Glazer, but the the director is uh, Jasmine Vickers. Oh, Jasmine. And the, yeah. So how are we distributing these letters? How are we going to? We don't know yet. Let's get the letter decided. Um, in that case, can I go ahead and distribute my one for this month? No. Because if, if it's not going right, it might be overlaid. What, yeah. what is your one? Oh, this is the same one of yours. It's being a business owner. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the one. So I was planning to send one out before the uh, celebration. So just to, you know, give people. I think it should. If, if you can do this before that, uh, that's uh, I'm asking. You could do it before that. Yeah. Um, that be from you as the mayor? Yeah, yeah. Can, can I, I normally send one like quarterly to all the businesses. You don't send it to me. Yeah. Hand delivered to for 500 businesses. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alice. <laughs> I didn't call you Alice just now. Oh. Yeah, Alice is your last. Yes, I've got a couple of those in the meantime. I'm not with Dean.
Okay. Sorry. If we are going to write to TDC, can we make a point of writing to the cabinet member and copy in the officer? Yes. We've got to try and establish the principle Absolutely. that yes. the Bannock District Council is run and decisions are made by councillors. Yeah. Not by officers. We yes. know that's not the way it is at the moment, but it's got to change. We've got to do that. We've got to start with the principle, not just contacting the officer and the cabinet uh, member finds out about it later. Right, yes. okay. So the Ruth Glazer is the. Kekka Glazer is the officer. Uh, uh, Jasmine uh, Vickers. Jasmine Vickers is the director, and that's who I will send it to as, as an officer. And the cabinet and member. Cabinet member with Bob, won't you? Okay. No, 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 no. Operational no. services? No. No, Dave Saunders. Dave Saunders, parking, yeah. Yeah, it's because they, it's they include it in finance, don't they? Finance, right, okay. <laughs> but, uh, really the idea of That's having a week, whether we can make the beginning of October now. So it's Dave Saunders. I was going to say, we'll certainly be at least the time to try and keep cleaning that week. Right. Young, young Ms. Wing wants. And Vic, um, then is always clean. I do, Jasmine Vickers. Oh, no, we've got me, no. I, I don't. I don't see. I do. I do like the idea of Trisha's idea of a week, and I do think it's not my idea. It's no, no. idea. We I should try and get as much of the town centre. Interestingly, after last meeting, I went. I, we went all the way from the bottom, all the way to the top. Uh, to Chatham House collecting rubbish, yeah. including one dead seagull, which I did not pick up, but Tony yeah. did. And we only collected a bag and a half on a Friday morning, which I was quite impressed with. It I, I don't, or what the seagull must have taken nearly all of it up. Way up. We went all the way up, and I was quite impressed with the lack of litter. We did collect. Wasn't there any outside my shop? No, there wasn't. Depending what time you went out. Yeah. <laughs> Depends what time you went out because ten o'clock. Yeah. yeah. So by then, yeah, I think we had the uh, street cleaners, yes. and the, sometimes we get the uh, mechanical uh, sweeper as well. Yeah. Cigarette ends are a big problem, and so we've got to switch to the pubs. And I've tried that already. I've tried that with the uh, Lewis snow butt stickers, and that that did the work because they all went. We we want to, we want to sweep, and then they carried on not having uh, and sweep if the rest sweep up. They just sweep in. Yeah. Um, okay, so our course of action is that Eileen is going to type up and distribute Helen's suggestion with circulated to Steve, circulated to members. Yes, yeah, circulated to members. And if we could have any comments within a week, we weekly, we get, get it out. Things yeah. going. Yeah. And I'm prepared to pay up my members' allowance to get this done. And the other thing is, it shouldn't just be the town centre. It should be the little mm. pockets of shops and tables and shops. Especially Addington yes. Street. Yeah. Right shop. Addington Street. Like people up there. I, I normally cover yeah. like Benz Road, Market Road, yeah. uh, Newington Road, and the town centre, King Street, High Street, Queen Street, yeah. Arbor Street, the seafronts. I think about 500 letters. Yeah, well. I can pay up my allowance. So I, I don't know how you, this is why my friend, my my friend used to do hand deliver to you know my letters. But how are you planning to do this? This is why I'm asking. I must have no idea how. By post or by post or here. Yeah. How? Oh, I've been to aeroplanes and launch. <laughs> We're not going to post them within a week. I hope um, that councillors will try and get some around there. Mm. Awards. Yes. Yeah. Even if you don't do every. Every premises. So who's going to print it? Or who's going to copy it? We're going to print it in house here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't need to address it. It doesn't need an address. No, just shut. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. copy it and put it in. Mind at night when they're closed. <laughs> <laughs> in case they come out. <laughs> um, Especially when I do road shares, I'll put three or four. <laughs> What was the other thing? I would still know it was you. <laughs> okay, anybody else? Yes, Councillor. At the end of last meeting, we had a bit of a debate about not being updated by the TDC that was here. So I think my suggestion was, after, as any other business, once we stop streaming out, that we have a TDC. Still streaming. Do you want it? To, do you, have you finished the meeting? Oh. Yes, thank you. Can you stop?